Hello and welcome my friends, welcome to another review of a modern fountain pen. I'm sorry, probably you don't recognize this format of the camera, but I had a problem with my last camera. Usually I film my videos using the camera of a mobile phone, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But uh, this time I'm uh, filming this video on uh, the camera of a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So it's a little bit uh, different. You will see that some angles are different from the other cameras. But enough with the small talk. Today I'm um, reviewing this Parker IM Black. I uh, bought this pen second hand and it came to me in this uh, plastic box. It is a Parker box, but you can see that uh, it has some wear and tear on here, some scratches. But um, I bought it at a reasonable price. I did not pay a large sum of money, around uh, 10 euros or 10 American dollars. So not a large sum of money. You will see it is an interesting, interesting piece, a modern piece, but let's say it's not the best part of the Parker brand. What I like about this pan, it is a well-built pan, it is a metallic pan, and uh, what I don't like about it is the finishes. Of course, it is the baseline of the Parker uh, brand, it is a base uh, fountain pen by uh, Parker and I believe new it costs around, I don't know, around 15 American dollars. I've seen different variants of it, but usually it is sold as a set with a ballpoint pen. Like I said to you, it is a metallic piece. I believe that this particular pen was made in China. And um, I'm saying that because it is a metallic pen, but it's similar to other Chinese-made fountain pens. And um, for lack of a better comparison, I have a Vaccaro pen made in China. And you can see the similarities between the two models. So we are talking about the same metallic body, painted in this black lacquer, should I say, and the same gold uh, colored trims. So basically a simple, simple design made probably by a large Chinese manufacturer. I will leave this Vaccaro pen aside and we will concentrate on this Parker IM. So like I told you, an affordable Parker IM, this came to me with those two ink cartridges, so you can use ink cartridges, but be careful, they are proprietary Parker ink cartridges, so it won't take international ink cartridges, but I also read that it takes um, the Parker converter, ink converter. Let's concentrate on the outer body, guys. I will zoom on it. What I like about it, it's, in, it's interesting, this clip, this arrow-shaped clip. Although it is not a firm one, it's very, very flexible. I think it does its job. And um, I also particularly like the ending of the barrel in this gold finish and the top of the cap. We can see the Parker logo over here, engraved right over here, and also that Parker logo is painted at the end of the cap. Interesting guys, this example doesn't have the series, the date production, Usually the Parker pens, the Sonnet Parker pens, have the production date right over here. It is a combination between uh, Roman numerals and Arab numerals, but this particular example doesn't have one. I don't know uh, if this is a fake product, but it is certainly 
made uh, by the same Chinese producer, I believe. And they branded it Parker. Okay. What I uh, don't love about this pen is the fact that we have a pressure fit cap. And I don't know if you can see in this lighting, but certainly inside of the cap, it is a plastic piece, a white piece. And I don't know if you can see in this lighting, but certainly there is a plastic piece that has both the role of securing it like this. And it has also a protective role when you cap it. It caps uh, very well uh, the metallic piece and it doesn't scratch the body here. But what I don't like about this design, uh, guys, and um, it is a pretty common uh, design choice. In fact, in time, that inner plastic part, it uh, develops some wear and tear. And there are two choices. The, it will peel off of the cap or it will deform itself and basically it won't perform its role of securing the pen like this. I'm not so sure how you can avoid this. Of course, you can make yourself a um, screwing cap but I believe that it is more expensive to do so. Another strange, strange thing about this pen is this grip section. When I first saw it, it looked kind of cool. You can see that we have a brushed yellow part, not uh, the shiny yellow part of the trims. Guys, but... I don't know, it seems um, quite, quite strange. And speaking about strange things, is this steel simple nib. Usually when I have a pen which has gold trims, I would prefer to see a gold plated nib. But it's not the case here. This nib is particularly small. And I'm trying to zoom on it to, yes, guys, to see what is engraved on it. We have Parker and we have four lines over there. It's an open name, but it is an interesting name. A simple uh, plastic feeder at the end of it. I'm pretty sure to see how it writes, but uh, based on... Uh, the look of it, I believe this is a generic uh, F or M nib. So guys, what I do love about this particular fountain pen, and I hope it will um, zoom on it. Oh God, I hate this camera. <laughs> so the camera of the Galaxy Note 9 is inferior to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So guys, what I do love about this design is the fact that we have two metallic pieces here, this on the grip and also here on the barrel. This is what I prefer to see usually in this type of design because um, most of the designs have here the plastic part and it is a vulnerable, vulnerable part. So um, thanks Parker to this even on a low end fountain pen we have this feature and I think it's a good good feature basically a cheap fountain pen guys but what i do like what i what i like about it is the fact that um, we have a metallic fountain pen and although it is a metallic fountain pen, it doesn't seem as heavy as other Chinese made fountain pens and it is quite usable. So, if you are a doctor or a person that needs uh, to take notes on um, outside, I believe that this could be a good choice for you. The fact that you can buy it for peanuts money and you can drop it, you can do whatever you want to it. It is 
basically a quite durable fountain pen. Of course, the weak point of any fountain pen is if you drop it on the nib. So probably you won't um, cry as much as you would cry if you drop a gold nib to the ground. Believe me, they are extremely extremely expensive to replace or to repair but in this case you simply can throw it to the trash or you can buy a replacement nib i think you can get one if you search for it so basically guys if you can get this fountain pen second hand just buy it if you afford to buy it new and um, uh, at its price, I think you can afford to buy one. Just buy it, try it for several days and try it in rough environments and you will see that it is a pretty reliable fountain pen. And speaking about its roughness, I will leave its dimensions on the screen, guys. And we will do the writing sample. But for the writing sample, we will uh, change the angle of this camera. And uh, uh, just um, bear with me, guys, for a second. Because it is the first time that I'm uh, using this camera. And it is quite difficult for me. So, guys, I have here my notepad. And I will take notes with it. Let's put it here. And now let me try to change the angle of the camera, guys. And let me see how I can show you better the sample. I think that this is a good position for the camera. Okay, I have my notepad right over here, guys. And uh, this is the Parker fountain pen. And I will use um, this proprietary in cartridge. So basically, you can also buy an ink converter. I believe you can find one for 10 euros or 10 American dollars. But if you don't have that money, when this ends, you can simply syringe fill it with other type of ink. And I believe you can use this for several writing sessions it is made out of a durable plastic and i think it does its job well guys what can i tell you i'm quite excited to write with this i'm curious to see this nib in action i don't mind it is a small nib we'll see about it well you know i bought this second hand and i did not clean it i did not test it let's hear that click sound and we don't have that click sound but it fits quite uh, well so first usually you have to wait for 30 seconds or something like that but let's see if we can uh, write with it i will show you right over here my attempt no and now this will be quite difficult because this is a thick plastic i will i will try to apply pressure to it let me see applying pressure and basically it is impossible for me to apply pressure with my bare fingers and oh yes i can i can i certainly can let's see if the ink will reach the nib section you can see I slightly deformed it, but being uh, quite thick plastic, I did not crack it. So basically, I will try to do the same thing again and again till we have uh, at least a drop of ink there. Let's try. Oh, God, <laughs> look at it. Sorry, accidents do happen, guys. So bear with me for a second. I will take my little tissue. Uh, let's find it yes i have my tissue right over here okay i will clean my hand and try to clean this area so i'm sorry for this guys but certainly i think it will write right let's let me test it before 
I will do other things. And you can see we had uh, ink, but it did not reach the end of the let me try so you probably can see right here this is the ink guys but the ink didn't reach the end of the nib and i simply hate when this happens but um, it is the first time that i'm using this fountain pen so probably let me see if i have here yes i do have here i have here a little blue ink for from Mont Blanc and basically what I will do is gently dip the pen in this ink but in mine is not a Parker ink probably the ink inside those cartridges is a Parker quick ink so I just dipped this in ink to see if it rounds and it should write but this is another type of blue and it wrote for a few and now I'm applying pressure you can see now I have this ink and I'm trying to get used to this ink let's see sorry about the mess guys but um, in the defense of this Parker I am it is the first time I'm using it so basically now I will try to zoom on the paper right here and let me write with it. So Parker, Parker I am. Well, you can say bad words about this pen. You can see, uh, you can say it's a Chinese made fountain pen. It's a cheap fountain pen. But believe me, it has a very, very good smooth nib. So Parker I am black with, um, gold colored trims and guys now uh, i remember one thing that i need to say about this pen so another thing i don't like about the design of this pen is this ring here and interesting they have another plastic ring but this gold pr gold plated shiny ring over here it will get in touch with ink, especially if you use ink converters. In the ink uh, cartridge case, it's not a problem. But when you use ink converters, you dip this in um, the bottle, and usually it remains here some residues of ink. And if you don't uh, be careful and don't clean your fountain pen in time, this piece would um, corrode by the action of the ink. And this is not a problem with the cheap Chinese fountain pens, but when you have this problem with a Pelican M800, well, that is an expensive problem. <laughs> and believe me guys i know okay let's return to our sample so parker i am black this probably was made in china for parker and branded for the parker company made in china i'm not so sure where the parker um, headquarters are I believe they are still in uh, the United Kingdom, but I don't know if um, they are still present uh, in the USA. In uh, You have to tell me this, because usually when I do a video, I put the flag, and definitely I will put the Chinese flag, because it is definitely made in China, but it is made for a UK-based or a American-based or a France-based Parker. I'm not so sure. Or in France. Maybe you can tell me this in the comments, guys. Where is the main office of the Parker firm located nowadays? Okay, Parker, I am black. I did not pay a large sum of money, so this cost me around 50 lace or approximately 5 euros or approximately 5 American dollars. And um, 
in my point of view, I think I've got a deal. Because, again, guys, I appreciate the smoothness of this nib and the fact that it is quite a durable, durable piece. Okay, uh, 50 lays. I recommend that you don't pay... Um, I'm sorry guys, 50 lace is the equivalent of 10 euros or 10 American dollars, now I see. So, uh, my recommendation to you is don't pay uh, um, um, the maximum amount of money is uh, 20, 20 euros or 20 American dollars. This is my point of view, even if you buy it new. Um, probably, you know, that uh, when I have this kind of money, I always go for vintage used pieces. And probably, if I'm lucky enough, I can find with $20 uh, one piece fitted with a solid gold nib. But uh, don't get me wrong, guys. It all depends on what you are you what you are using for the fountain pen. Again, for a person that needs to take notes on the field, I definitely recommend this Parker. It is a good brand, although it this particular piece is made in China and this is the base model from Parker. I definitely recommend this uh, fountain pen. But again. Uh, it is a cheap made piece, but an efficient piece, as you can see. So, Parker, I am black, made in China, USA. This is, guys, let me show you right here. This is fitted with a steel nib. I believe that uh, this writes like an M nib, medium nib, quite a smooth, smooth nib. And... Uh, it is uh, quite, um, let's say, a juicy nib, and I will show it to you. So look at it, quite juicy. And um, I think it's not a flexible nib, but let me try to see. So you probably can see. Interesting, when I do this, um, it seems like it scratches a little bit. And this is unusual for a smooth nib. Let me... Hmm, strange. Maybe it is, um, maybe it has a sweet spot like the Lamy 2000. I, this is, this is the first time that I am using this. Let me see if we have some line variants. So, guys, probably a zoom will be in order for the line variants. So, probably a zoom will be in order for the line variants. So, right over here, guys. Let me show you this, so this, no pressure whatsoever, and now I am starting to apply pressure. And um, it is, it is a little, a little line variance, which is not a bad thing in my point of view. A little line variance. And now let's see if we can reverse right with this. Reverse writing so definitely it wasn't designed for reverse writing it loses its ink flow as you can see and it scratches a little bit but let's say in a short period of time you can reverse write it and it writes like an an extra fine one in comparison with the medium it usually writes now guys let me tell you about the fox i'm sorry about this camera it's definitely gives me a hard time i hope i will have the money to repair my phone what was the problem guys with my phone is i didn't drop it but in my backpack it um, collided with a bottle of wine and the uh, screen got smashed and believe me if you want to repair a galaxy note 20 ultra screen being broke well, it cost me a large, large sum of money and it is a pain. So, let me tell you about um, the Fox. So, the quick brown Fox 
jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, I'm sorry guys, by the way, I didn't use this cap, but you can certainly cap it. Uh, and being a metallic fountain pen, not a good thing. So let me show you the writing sample. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. What can I say to you guys? An amazing, an amazing pen at a decent, decent price. Um, I don't recommend that you buy this new. Probably it is better to find a used version at an affordable price. Um, this was its review uh, and uh, it has certainly some uh, bad things to it, but it is a Parker, a Chinese made Parker, but still a Parker model and a metallic model. I like it a lot. Probably some of you won't like it, but it is what it is. It all depends on your preferences. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review, guys. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I will see you again in the next episode. I hope that I will repair my camera and you will have a better viewing experience. I'm uh, sorry about this, but I hope you've enjoyed the Parker I am black and um, it's not a perfect video, it's not a perfect fountain pen, but I think that some of you will like this fountain pen. So wherever you are guys, I want to wish you to have a nice day. I will see you again in the next episode, till then, bye bye and God bless you all my friends.